Ag Day Weather, brought to you by One Herbicide Can't Do It All. One Herbicide Portfolio Can. BASF Advanced Weed Control for growers from BASF, the chemical company. Welcome back to Ag Day. Mike, it's been a, well, other than that storm last week, it's been a relatively good period for harvest this year. Do we see that really continuing? Has. Yeah, and we haven't had that uh, early freeze or anything like that. Right, right. Yeah, we do. We see s this system kind of cutting up through the western plains, bringing a lot of rain. But uh, until Tuesday, Wednesday of next week, when a big system brings a lot of rain to the Corn Belt, this may be a good period to get a lot of those crops in across the middle of the country because we have a stalled out system along the eastern seaboard. And again, that's kind of the partially the remnants of Karen. It's going to move so far north and then take off to the east. So you folks in New England will probably see no moisture from this storm system along the eastern seaboard, but it is going to move northward. We'll see uh, this system out west continuing to uh, move in as well. Now, as we head through time, we are going to see uh, things change a little bit. You'll notice the uh, storm system coming into the Plain States, and that will produce a little bit of rain as it moves on up into the uh, northern plains as we head into the day on Friday. There's a precipitation estimates and you can see the amounts over the past 24 hours decent amounts it's been a, a real soaking rain for eastern Virginia eastern North Carolina there and you can see that'll continue to kind of move up into the Delmarva Peninsula with some decent rainfall amounts as well some areas are probably going to end up with three or four inches of rain out of this but it doesn't get too far north it may not get much uh, farther north than New York City where you might just get a little bit of rain but dry conditions Great Lakes northeast all the way down throughout the Mississippi Valley but you'll notice uh, off to the west there is going to be some uh, pretty good moisture at least in the northern and western plains with that next system that cuts northward into Canada. So it's really next week before we start to see lots of moisture in the middle of the country. Not a lot of snow here over the past 24 hours, just some of the higher elevations. That will continue to be the case over the next 36 hours, although some of those higher elevations may end up with uh, many inches of snow, probably under a foot in most locations, but uh, some areas getting a decent amount. There's the high temperatures, warm conditions through the middle of the country with all that sunshine. Highs in the 60s though, northeast in the Great Lakes. 50s throughout most of the Rocky States, as you can see there. Lows tonight, it's going to be pretty cold out west, also chilly in the northeast. Otherwise, mild conditions for October through the middle of the country. And another warm afternoon tomorrow for most of the uh, Corn Belt all the way to the Gulf Coast. Chilly out west and still cool in the northeast. Taking a look at the longer range, here's the jet stream ridge over the east. Although we do have that uh, little little uh, weakness in that ridge because of that uh, storm system off the southeast coast and a big trough out west. Now, as we head through the rest of the week and into the weekend, that trough kind of moves north, so it really doesn't come too far eastward, but it's the next trough next week. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is going to not only bring a fair amount of rain to the middle of the country, but a pretty good shot of cold air right behind it. So that's something we'll be watching. That's a look across the country. Now let's take a look at some local forecasts. For Billings, Montana today, variably cloudy and cool, high temperature of 59 degrees. Winona, Missouri, partly sunny and warm, the afternoon high of 82. And Montpelier, Vermont, mostly sunny and pleasant, afternoon high around 67 degrees. Still to come.